Hi everyone, Muskan this side and we'll be starting with our SQL problem solving series. So the first question that we are going to solve is coming out of the SQL 50. So let me talk about SQL 50 too. SQL 50 basically contains 50 questions of SQL and they are mostly of easy and medium level. You will see one or two questions for hard level. I see one here. So if you want to revise your basics, if you if you are starting your journey, if you are preparing for an interview and want to revise your basics pretty fast, then this is a good way of doing so. So I'll be starting with very easy question and that will be recyclable and low fat products. That is the first question of SQL 50. I'll be pasting the link for the uh, for this particular question so that you can follow along. One more thing that I'll be doing is I'll be making a discord channel so that everyone can come together and practice the questions and I'll want your input on this. Do you want the tutorials to be entirely in Hindi or English or can I use mix of both? My preferable language will be that I use mixture of both but still if you feel like something is off you can write in the comments and we can work on that. So we are going to start with recyclable and low fat products. So before starting a question, before writing the solution, please make sure that you understand the question. Okay, so we'll start with the table. The table is products. The name of the columns is product ID. Second column is low fat and the third one is recyclable. We know that product ID is the prime decade is given to us and low fat and uh, uh, recyclable. They both are enum. Enum means basically they are categories. So we have the option as Y or N that means yes or no. So for example, we can see here we have low fat as Y and recyclable as Y and so Y means yes and N means no. Okay, we have to write a solution to find the IDs of products that are both low fat and recyclable. So what do we need to do here is we need to find ID. ID. So we know that by this, by understanding only just this part of the question that we have to find the ID. So I'll just say select ID of product and then we know the condition. The condition is it should be low fat and it should be recyclable. So we have two conditions and both of the conditions should be true. And then only if both of the conditions are true, we should print out the product ID okay results can be in any order that does not matter so let's take example uh, zero the product id is zero low fat is yes not recyclable one is low fat and recyclable second is not uh, low fat but is recyclable third is low fat and recyclable fourth is not low fat or neither recyclable so we only want where both of these things are yes so product ID 1 and product ID 3 satisfies the criteria. So let's do that. Okay. So I have already done the solution for you. I solved this uh, in my last tutorials too. But no problem. We'll still take our time out and solve the question. Okay. So we know that we want to print product ID in the output. We can understand that from the question. And we can even see that in the sample output. Then we write the name of the table that is products and we have two conditions to be satisfied that it should be low fat and recyclable so that is why i'm writing where low fat is why because in the table the uh, the input that is there for low fat and recyclable is either y or n so we know that if the uh, milk has to be low fat and recyclable then at both of these places the value should be y if low fat is Y, that means it's low fat. If low fat is N, that means it's not low fat. In our question, it is saying that we want low fat and recyclable. So at both the values, low fat and recyclable, we should get Y. And we are using AND here because AND will make sure that both of these conditions are satisfied. Okay. So whenever you have condition, use WHERE. Whenever you have two conditions and you need both of them to be satisfied, you use AND. So once we are done with this, let's just run this code and let's see what we are getting as the output. So it's quite easy uh, for running the code. You can see that we have this option for running here. One second. 
sorry, small glitch here. Let me just open the link once again. Yeah, so the same answer is written here. So you can run the code by pressing on the run icon. It will run and tell you if the test cases are passing or not. If the test cases are passing, your this result will show accepted and your output is correct. Then you click on submit. It will take a second or two for it to uh, process. It is judging and it will give if the solution is uh, correct or not. So it's telling you that uh, it's the, the runtime is this the memory is this okay now i will suggest that you do not stop here you have the option of going to editorial and you have the option of going to solutions okay so first i'll select that you go in solutions and see what other people are trying to do for the similar question why we are doing that because it is necessary to learn from people okay our solution right now beat five percent of the runtime of other people so it's necessary that we also understand what other people are doing what is the process that they are trying to do to become a better version of ourselves so somebody has written this code uh, let's try this one this one out let's see so yeah here they can see that they have written the same solution they have uh, used order by one and ascending order but it's up to you if you want to get that or not okay other things is like it depends on you if you want to do the similar question in pandas pandas is used in python so i find is a python library so if somebody asks you to do the similar question in python you will have the option here in sense you can select pandas and try the same problem and give the solution on the basis of pandas so you can read other people's solution and see how is your solution compared to other people okay that's all and uh, i'll see you in the next class let me know in the comments if you want me to change anything we'll be trying to complete a lot of things together practice daily bye bye